Hey hey shivering denizens, today following a guided meditation we reflect on what price tag you'd place on your own sobriety. On this channel I guide you through a simple meditation and then we reflect on a topic that changes every day to set you off on the right track or to provide some mental respite during the day or to help you wind down at the end of the day. Find somewhere where you will not be disturbed for the next minute and make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes and relax your body. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep breathing deeply and feel the cool air come in through your nose and flow all the way down into your chest. Each time you breathe in, be aware of your chest expanding. Now, listen carefully to all the quiet sounds outside and around you. You may hear outside noises, maybe cars, birds, something else. Just listen. Now turn your focus within. Listen quietly to what's happening within your body. Can you hear your heart beating? Can you hear your breath as you breathe in slowly, in and out? Maybe your stomach is making noises. or you're listening to the sound of your breath, or your heartbeat. Whatever is going on inside, just take time to listen. Imagine now inside of you, there is a big, beautiful fuel tank. Everyone has one, though we can't see it with our eyes. When we feel good, our fuel tanks are full. When we're feeling bad, our fuel tanks are low or even empty. Did you know that when you fill someone else's fuel tank with kindness, helpfulness, or even a little smile, your own fuel tank gets filled up too? That's actually the way we fill our fuel tanks. When we share goodness or gratitude and think happy thoughts, our fuel tanks are filled with so much goodness. When kind words are spoken, fuel tanks get fuller. And when unkind words are spoken, fuel tanks become a little emptier. We all want our fuel tanks to be full of love, kindness and happiness. Everyone does. So we could make a choice each and every day to show loving kindness to others and help fill their fuel tanks. In doing so, our own tank gets filled to the top and can even overflow. Let's imagine for a moment a time when you might get upset with someone. What do you imagine is happening to your own fuel tank? What do you imagine is happening to the other person's fuel tank. So, your goal when you get upset is to talk about what you're feeling without emptying your fuel tank or the other person's. You can do it. Just imagine keeping that full. And if it ever feels low or empty, you can take in a deep breath and remember how loved you are. You can choose to be grateful for the good things and people you have in your life and focus on that. The main topic of the day is on the worth of sobriety. 
in the book of AA Daily Reflections, it basically talks about Tradition 7. Every group ought to be fully self-supporting, declining outside contributions. How much did we used to spend on our old habits? I absolutely shudder to think about mine, and I never sat down and actually calculated it. It's a number that is probably too scary to think about. In fairness, the overall toll on my mental health was probably far greater than any direct financial drain associated with acquiring my poison. But then that contributes to loss of earnings, etc., so it all ends up one and the same. One of the beautiful things about 12-step meeting groups is how little they cost to operate. We need to cover the rent of rooms and save money for some refreshments, and that's pretty much it. The value comes from the time people give to do service positions, or simply attend to make the group so valuable. When that contribution pot comes around, think about how much a night in the madness would cost, and then just give what's necessary to keep things running. I was at a meeting last night where I forgot to take any change and so couldn't contribute. Reading the daily reflection in preparation for this video actually made me feel a bit of shame. I would go to any lengths to feed my own addiction, so I have to be more careful to go to any lengths to keep my sobriety, even if that means ensuring I show up with a small amount of change, always. The groups are run by those in recovery for those in recovery to provide a sanctuary for those who still suffer. It's a beautiful thing, and long may it stay that way. A link to another video will now be popping up on your screen if you want to do another meditation with another reflection, and please subscribe if you haven't already for more of these meditations every single day. Thanks and keep coming back.